Peace, everybody. Thomas Amal with another special edition of Conversation Corner. And one thing I wanted to bring up right now is talking about old beliefs, new beliefs, active beliefs, and all of those types of things. But, you know, first of all, a belief is something that you think. It's um, something that you think about, that you keep going, and, and continue to think about it. Doesn't necessarily mean you believe it, my opinion. But it's not an old belief if you're still thinking about it. That means it's an act of belief. This is something that I heard from Abraham, and I thought it was really funny um, to think about that, uh, to, that that topic came up because I thought about a, uh, something, a conversation that I had many, many moons ago, and I completely forgot about it. But every blue moon, I'll bring up the topic of the conversation as if I believed it or if, as if it was old news. But evidently, it wasn't old news because I'm continue, I'm still thinking about it. And I'm still bringing it up. And when, one of the things that I've learned is that the more you continue to think about something, the more you continue to bring it up, the more it stays in your world. See, here's the beauty of all of this. If you want to re replicate something that's good in your life, if you want to continue to have things come in your world that you think is good and positive, you have to stay true to it. And hold on to that emotional state that came about when it came to you. When all of those events took place, those positive events, those loving events, those happiness events, that's what you want to hold on to. And you want to eliminate or push away or not allow or repel the things that you know are not good. So you, in essence, fill up with good those beautiful, wonderful beliefs that you have, and these are one of the things that I teach and I help to get you to tweak in your life as life's liaison, to tweak. Just think differently. Just a little bit think differently. And you'll see how your life will continuously change. Just by your thoughts. Just a small change in your thought pattern. So, you know, and that's something that uh, I've talked about. Your atmosphere, this is something that I learned also. Your atmosphere is based on your thoughts. Let's not think that things happen just because. That's not always the case. And that very well may never be the case. It, it could be the case or it's the, the, you thought about it. You continuously thought about it. You searched on it. You looked for it. And it stayed here. Next thing you know, it embedded itself within the in, in your unconscious mind. And it started to work. It started to work. The universe started to bend. Law of attraction. Cause and effect. Law of reciprocity. All of these laws start to take effect. And the things that you continuously think about, the things that I continuously think about, be it good or bad, start coming into shape. And sooner or later, you're going to get what you're asking for, even if you don't want it. Right now, I'm saying, trust me to help you get to where you want to be. This is what I do. Allow me to do my job. I thank you very much for giving me and lending me your ear. Now it's time for us to decide to make the next step. You deserve this. You deserve this. Thomas Amal Conversation Corner. Always remember, be smart. Think first. Think first. Be smart. Talk to you soon. Peace.